Now we can enjoy this moment. Around 700 metres to go up here. The road swings around to the right and goes slightly downhill again. Wow, Van Aert is getting set for another stage win. The Belgian champion has got 700 metres to go. He's attacked 32 and a half kilometres from the race finish. He has tried all the way through this Tour de France to give Jumbo Visma something to shout about. We're in the middle now of the second phase of this year's Tour and he's about to give them the stage win they've been looking for. Jumbo Visma have lost Primoz Roglic in this Tour. They've lost the dreams of the general classification for Roglic, but maybe it's turning to Jonas Vengegaard. Wout van Aert, the Belgian champion, in his third time at the Tour of France is going to make it wins every single time he's been in the tour Wout van Aert is going to ride in here to the race finish with an emotional moment he turns around he gets himself set with a 32 and a half kilometer lone breakaway it's four wins in the tour wonderful Wout here we are they've caught him just before the finish Jonas Vengegaard is the first rider to crack the yellow jersey and now Taddy is going to say to him well you tried but I'm still going to beat you on the stage they sprint for the line now Vengegaard will make sure there's no split fourth place Pogaccia fifth around sixth Carapaz seventh Vengegaard here comes Alexei Lutsenko and Wilco Kelderman there are groups of riders all over the place on today's stage. A double taste of the Mont Ventoux. Lutsenko behind, then it's Kelderman. Jumbo Visma have the stage win they've been looking for since they lost Primoz Roglic. A tough, tough day in the mountains. The first rider to crack Taddy Pogaccia in the Tour this year is Jonas Vengegaard. Well, that was an incredible stage for the riders chasing the stage win and an incredible stage for the GC battle as well. Wout well, van Aert has won stages in the Tour in 2019, 2020 and now 2021. Wow, Van Aert celebrating here. A wonderful day for Jumbo Visma.